All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today we're going to be looking at nine months, actually going on 10 months. So I'm almost at a year with my Surface Go 3. Now, this device right here is pretty eclectic in its own because it's a tablet, hybrid, computer, whatever you want to call it. It has pretty much all the things that you could want in a device if you need to be portable. Now, an LTE version of this or a 5G version would be really sweet to have. But right now, it's just not necessary for me. Having just Wi-Fi is good enough because I have Wi-Fi in my car, hotspot on my phone, things like that. If I just really need a bigger screen to check emails and stream real fast. So this is the 8 gig, 128 gig version. It's the second tier down. It's the one that costs 550 with the Pentium Gold 6500Y processor. Thought about getting the Temp Gen I Core i3 version, but I just didn't see the value there. Even for that little bit more money, I didn't see the value for me for what I'm going to be doing with this. And plus, the Core i3 isn't the fastest. I experienced it in a MacBook at one point, the 12-inch MacBook, and it just wasn't the best. It wasn't a great experience. So this processor, though, however, it is really good. So you're looking at a 10.5-inch pixel sense display is what they're calling it, uh, coming in basically at 1920 by 1280. A uh, pretty decent pixel count at 220 pixels per inch. The aspect ratio is what makes these these very nice, the three by two aspect ratio. So uh, with that being said, this display is absolutely beautiful. It, it Having uh, a good viewing angle is what you want when you have something like this. Uh, and I think the display, it's been, it's been great over the last nine months. Uh, and I, I don't have any complaints with it. I used to have a matte screen protector on here, but I took it off because I just didn't like how it looked with this. The canvas was, you know, touch, it was always oily for some reason. It was, it's a bigger display than a cell phone. So um, I didn't like that. So I went back to the, the display. And this is an HDR display. So you're going to get, um, it, it can display HDR. As you can see, you have, it has the auto HDR. See, you got HDR right there. And it's just going to it's going to look great for all of your content when viewing uh, media or just uh, regular viewing. I think you'll look at photos differently. It really makes it pop. So the display does have Corning Gorilla Glass 3 for those that are wondering. It's probably not going to be the strongest glass, uh, but I have dropped this plenty of times and there's not a mark on it. It just got a little dirty from fingerprints. Other than that. It fell and bounced around, and I've had other things fall and break at the same distance. So, so it's, I guess it's pretty strong. I guess I'm not really sure if it's, it has that big of an impact on it. So, when you talk about software on a, on a device like this, you were looking whoever's buying this device, and my purpose on buying this was I wanted kind of a full blown, blown computer in a compact size. Uh, I just wanted a bigger screen other than using a phone to check emails and respond. So. That is where this comes into play for me. I use this strictly for like banging out emails. As you can see here, it has a kickstand. And we'll get into the hardware in a little bit. We'll get into this in a little bit. But um, I definitely use this with uh, keyboards sometimes. But I don't like the attachable keyboard. I don't like that. Not my favorite. Um, so I prefer to just type it out on the with the on-screen keyboard like this. This is what I prefer. Uh, so... You have your own preference. That is my preference. I'm, and I, seriously, after using this every day for, for the last nine and a half months, I'm so used to it now. It just doesn't matter. I, I, I really enjoy it. But my sole purpose of getting this thing was definitely to have something that, that makes me portable uh, and still have the ability to uh, do things at a, a bigger scale. So 10.5 inches is actually really beautiful to bang out emails or just view content on a bigger screen. Now, web browsing is another reason why I got this. And to be honest, the, the Edge browser was not my favorite choice um, at the beginning. I really didn't know what to expect. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why the browser is loading like that in a second when I get to some cons. Uh, because I did, have, I did have a con, uh, but we're going to load up um, something here. Let's see here. Let's go. I'm going to go Surface Laptop Go 2. We'll talk about this too uh, in, in a little bit. But I'll explain to you why the browser was re was refreshed uh, as as new. So you'll you'll see that in a little bit. But nonetheless, web browsing on here is absolutely fantastic for me. Having a larger canvas like this has been phenomenal, but it's not too big. It's not like I have a 14 inch MacBook Pro sitting right there. I also have another eight, 17 inch laptop and another 15 inch laptop. Uh, and um, I'm looking to add something to the catalog. And it's going to be this right here, if, if I'm being honest. I, I've. I'm going to get this because my experience with this particular product 
has been phenomenal, but I don't like attaching the keyboards. So speaking of the keyboards, let's go ahead and look at hardware. This is what the back of this machine looks like. So you have a camera on the back and you have a camera on the front that also doubles as Windows Hello. So let's go ahead and show you there. You just look at it and boom, you're in. And the front camera isn't bad. The rear camera isn't bad. I've shown you content on both of those and I've shown you that you can plug in a lot of things into this and still get, it's very powerful. So the hardware, you get this nice platinum look. This is the platinum and they also have a black one too. But one of the highlights of this device is the kickstand. And what's not talked about a lot with this is the SD card slot. Um, this has an SD card slot. Uh, when I tell you it's nicked, I've dropped this a bunch of, you might not be able to see it too well on camera. There's nicks all along the edges of this thing for me dropping it, but it has an SD card slot. Uh, and I think that's important to know that for something that's considered to be portable, even though I have 128 gigs of storage in here, I still have the ability to add things outside of that. So if I wanted to load a bunch of movies on, a, on an SD card and then just play them on the device, totally possible. I can back up things to the SD card. I can just have all my music on the SD card just to not use up all the storage on the device. It's up to you totally how you do things with your device. But this hardware is actually pretty great. So the cameras, the microphone up there, and up top you have the power button and then the volume rocker right here. And on this side, here are the only ports other than the SD card slide. That's not really considered a port, I guess, but. This is the charging port here. They have this special plug from Microsoft that you plug in right there, but it also charges through, through the type C. Shout out to Will H Tech Reviews. When I first got this, I didn't know that you could charge it through the type C port. He had one at the time, uh, excuse me, Will's Gadgets and more. So he had one at the time and he um, told me, yeah, it does charge the type C. And then I start, I never used that charger again since then. And you have a headphone jack. Now that type C isn't just any type C. That type C, uh, can be used. Let me get my little dongle here. Let's see here. Where is it at? Here we go. This is what I recommend you get if you decide to get this. Get something like, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying this brand, but get something like this with a ton of ports. That way you'll be able to take full advantage of this device. So you've got three USB ports there that are 3.0, a full size HDMI that can output 4K. You got a micro SD card slot and an SD card slot full, and you have two type C's and one with pass through, and you have an ethernet port. And this is all through type C. Now, getting a good one, I would say, uh, is probably something more than 50 bucks at this point in the game. And at, at where we're at in the world, you, you're gonna need something like this to really get the power from this device. I totally recommend you grab a, a, a dongle like that in order to take advantage of this device because it can handle pretty much everything. So as I spoke of earlier, when it comes back to hardware, this hinge has gotta be one of the best hinges in the game. I mean, you see the position that it can go all the way down to, and it is a stiff, strong hinge. And we're talking about nine months in, sometimes things will start to wear out. That is not one of them. Um, I totally enjoy this hinge when I'm typing on it. I'm banging out like this. And if I join like a Google, if I join, not Google, if I join Meets or Microsoft Meets or anything, there's any kind of meeting on here. I, it's, it's so convenient. It is extremely convenient because I don't, I'm one of the few people that could just use the microphones on the device. It's got a camera and I have my own kickstand and it is just absolutely great. This has got to be one of the best parts of this device. So nine months in, folks, um, the software experience is good. And if you, as you guys, again, you guys know I'm not really a Windows person, uh, per se. I'm more of a Mac user. I prefer Mac OS for doing edits and just the power that they bring. Uh, but this is my favorite go-to little tablet hybrid. I do have an iPad Mini 6, uh, but I use that just for gaming, if I'm being honest. Gaming and music. That's pretty much what I'd use it for. I could have gotten an iPad, you know, <laughs> or, or excuse me, an iPod. Uh, or just use my iPhone. But I, again, I wanted a bigger canvas for, for the games and things like that. So, but this, uh, my friend, get out of here. Yeah, I'm messing up my video. Why do flies do that? Um, but I don't know how he got in here. But um, this is the next step, folks. This is my obvious next step is to go to the Surface Go Laptop 2. I like that this comes in uh, diff four different colors. Obviously, my favorite, I shouldn't say obviously, but the Sage is the favorite for me of these colors, man. There's the ice blue is nice. If you look right here, they have that gold or sandstone, but that sage is absolutely beautiful. So, you know, hey, it's gonna be nice because it has a 12.4 inch display. 
And it's basically this in a bigger package with a keyboard that's fully available to you at any time. Uh, because when you when you when you think about this, it's it's got everything in here that uh, I would want for this device, but you just get a keyboard that's attached to it. And so that's the most important thing. So um, I think this is gonna be nice. This will be the next addition, I think, to the to my Windows family. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful right here. This sage color is just great. And I think uh, once I bring this on, let's configure it. I'm gonna configure it the way I probably am gonna do it. Um, so we're gonna go with the highest one. I, I would recommend that you just get the highest priced one for the configuration, which is the eight gig, 256 gig Core i5. They all have the Core i5, but I, I just don't recommend that you you grab um, the, the lower one because of the RAM. Uh, at least go with the middle ground. And as you can see, they're on sale, at least for me they are. Maybe that's my military, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, that's a pretty good price, 7.99, and then I'm getting 80 bucks off. Uh, that That's just a fantastic price, so. I'm really hoping to enjoy that device when I get it, I'll bring it in. But this is nine months with this killer little tablet. Uh, it's just great, man. It's a tablet. It's a full-blown computer. Uh, it's everything. It's really nice. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed uh, with what Microsoft is doing with this style of device. Some things now. Oh, let me tell you why the um, the web browser was starting as new again. The con, I had one con and that was my Windows update. So if I go here, let's go ahead and get in and I will show you, um, I was going to Windows and I had a thing down here that was saying update. So it says right now, update needed. There was a, this was right before this video. Now all of these right here are current, but at some point, the windows got stuck in an update phase. It got stuck in an update phase and it just continued to keep asking or telling me that I had an update coming. And so right before this video, I did a factory reset. I didn't want, and the truth is I actually recorded this video and I stopped because it kept on telling me I had, it's been doing this for like two months. That has been my only con. Uh, and it's, it was stuck on like doing a, a, a an update, but it never updated, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of strange. So what I did was I factory reset it, uh, and then here we are. That's why you see the fresh start for the web browser. Because normally I have a whole bunch of stuff all over my desktop, but I, I, it was something in the last build that I got, which was 22,000.38, I believe it was. That build somehow messed up something, and it got stuck in a, a, a loop of telling me I have an update, but it would never update, and it would crash out and reboot. So normally when I would click on this, it would just shut itself off when I try to do anything or restart it or download any updates. So that's done, and I guess my, my factory reset is fixed it, uh, and that's probably the only problem that I've ever had with this over the last nine months. That started happening about two months ago, and I just ignored it because I was like, I oh, forget whatever the update is. It's working, so I'm just going to keep using it. But here we are, folks. Um, I'm excited to finally bring you an update on this nine months later, and I think if you've been interested in this, I'm going to recommend that you get at least the 8 gig, 128 gig version, even though it has an SD card, because that 4 gigs of RAM is going to burn out fast. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yep. I will see you in the next one. Take care.